I'm Dave First. We're joined today by Gavin Ward, the newly named racing director for Aero McLaren SP, sliding over from uh, the lead engineering role here in the off season. Take us back. You go overseas as an intern. How did that set the stage for what you're doing today? I mean, obviously, a formative experience for me. Yeah. Uh, you know, look, I grew up as a kid in, in Toronto, and I, I love motor racing. I mean, it's my dream to be in racing since I was 10 years old. Really? So that. I actually moved to England when I was 18 to go to university over there, and that's how I ended up in this one-year internship at Red Bull. That internship went better than I ever could have imagined. Um, I started as an R&D development sort of student. Six months into it, I got asked if I wanted to go be on the full-time test team at that point as a control system engineer. Wow. And then ended up on the race team. So I did all races, all tests for the second half of my wow. internship. So 13 years there, then in 2018, you make the decision to come stateside to work for Team Penske. Mm -hmm. What was the thought process there coming back to the U.S.? Yeah, you know, it was an interesting one. So I ha I'd, I'd, been, I'd been really lucky, had a lot of success in that yeah. one, and I'd also been fortunate in that I'd done more varied roles than a lot of people would do. But it felt a little bit like I was reaching the end of the road yeah. where I, I, okay, I've done all this stuff. I want to put it to use, not just be a specialist and ignore everything else I've done. So. Right. Yeah, I, I, I was coming to the end of a long-term agreement at Red Bull, and I looked around, and this opportunity came up to go and be Joseph Newgarden's engineer at Team Penske. And it's just, it was an easy decision in the end there. In 2019, you won the championship with Joseph. Yeah. What did you learn in that year that has maybe helped propel you to this position here? Yeah, being in that level of a role and to win a championship, right. for me, that's that was still a huge professional accomplishment. It felt like the biggest thing I'd ever done at that point. But you know, it also was this growing progression towards being more people focused in, in, in my work and, and, and all that sort of stuff and appreciating that it's a technical sport, but actually at the end of the day, it's people that matter. Right. Also just loving IndyCar racing. So you come to Aero McLaren SP, you're here, it's expanding, you're hiring people. Yeah, I mean, it's huge. We're growing this team really fast, yeah. obviously, like to grow from a two to three car full-time operation, add the fourth car and the 500, that's, you know, that's 50% growth for really right. how we go, competition-wise, how we go racing. Think about this team coming out. Um, Rossi comes on board, you got Felix, you got Pato, you got Kanan in the 500. Something really special could be happening here in 2023. How exciting is that to you? It's incredibly exciting. Yeah. I mean, honestly, the thing that I keep kind of reminding myself is like, this sport has been dominated by like a trifecta of teams right, uh, right. for the last 20 years. Right. There's and, the big three-ish, yeah. right? Yeah, the big three-ish. And you know, we've, we've busted our way into yeah. that and we've got the opportunity now, I think the best opportunity anybody's had in a long time to get to the top of that. Success in 2023 would be what for you? I mean, every race team in the off season is gonna tell you we gotta win the 500 <laughs> and we're gonna win the championship. Um, my view of life is a little different. All right. um, I, I very much prescribe to the focus on the process and the results take care of themselves. So for us, you know, I want us to be the most dynamic, exciting racing team yeah. that embraces individuality, embraces diversity, has a lot of fun, and has a focus of continuous improvement. Mm -hmm. And if we do that and we enjoy the process, you know, enjoy, not just be there to celebrate the wins, and don't get me wrong, if we win the 500 in the championship, we'll celebrate, <laughs> but not there to run the highs and lows of what can be a very cruel sport at times right. and, and ha hang all of our emotions on that. But let's focus on just being better, getting better, and let the rest take care of itself. Just hearing you speak, I, I can. There's a lot of passion coming through, yeah. uh, and being around Indy Car for a number of years now, um, it seems like it's done nothing but reinforce what you believe the sport is and can be, and for that matter, what this team can be in 2023 and beyond. Yeah, I feel like the vision of what I think a racing team could be is like 28 years in the making. <laughs> I've, like I've grown up with this sport and I've loved yeah. it, but I've always felt like. Everywhere I've been, it, don't get me wrong, I've worked for some great organizations and I, I take a lot of pride in that and I, I, I'm very grateful for that. But I've always felt like we could do more. They've already done a lot more heading into 2023. Who knows where this is going to go uh, by the time we're at Laguna Seca <laughs> at the end of the year. Thank you so much. No worries. Gavin Ward, NTT, Meet the Pack.